friends welcome back to my channel welcome if you guys are new here this is Tiffany and today I'm sharing with you guys a random grocery haul I know that usually on Sundays I upload my what's for dinner videos with you guys when I'm on schedule but I'm changing that up this week because I have a very special collab this Tuesday with one of my favorite youtubers uh, and it's gonna be a whole bunch of fun crock pot recipes so instead of sharing my what's for dinner today I'm gonna like share that on Tuesday so today I'm bringing you um, I've been shopping and stockpiling or um, freezer, you know, prepping, just stocking up my freezers, my pantries, things like that when I find bargain deals. And I have just gone crazy this past week and a half, like doing that. I know I did the Sam's haul and all that stuff, but I've been finding awesome deals. So I'm sharing with you guys some awesome deals. I'm also sharing with you guys a really cool, awesome, um, I don't even know. I've never seen anything like it. This brand reached out to me and asked me to review this um, countertop dishwasher. And I was super intrigued. I had to see for myself um, how that worked. It was from Ecozy. So I'm going to review that and show that with you guys. It's really, really cool. And it's practical. Like if you, um, you know, have a small living space or, you know, it's one of those things you could throw in your stockpile, prepper haul, things like that to have on hand. It's really cool because you don't have to be hooked up to a faucet or anything. So really cool. I'll share that with you guys, but let's go ahead and get started with today's video. I appreciate you guys watching. If you're new, I'd love to have you subscribe and I have lots of content coming your way, guys. I love you guys. I appreciate you all. Let's go. Okay guys, here is this random haul that I did buy extra things, but a lot of this was, oh my gosh, couldn't pass up the value because I can freeze it. So I do try to buy pumpkin if I can find real pumpkin and it's on sale. So today um, they were $1.50 a can. I know they're $1.69 at Aldi right now and that's the lowest I can ever find it because um, if you buy Libby's, it's like $3 a can. So this is something I always keep on hand. Like I've said before, I will take the pumpkins that we like paint or whatever and I will cook them in the oven and roast them and then I will um, scoop out the middles, like take the seeds out and I will scoop the middle out and I will freeze it because you can use pumpkin. You know, why waste it and throw it away? If you, if you paint them instead of carving them, you can, you know, recycle them and use them. So anyway, um, I got these. We don't need this, but it was a dollar and I thought, you know what, you can absolutely freeze yogurt. So that's what I plan to do with these. I'm going to keep one or two out, maybe make some yogurt bark. Um, but these were even the organic kind. So this was 99 cents. They had a dollar. This was, they had a ton of these. I would have actually bought more if I thought I could do that. Um, these weren't necessary, but they were on sale. And I'm telling you, fruit snacks have been like $4 for a while. I used to get these things for 99 cents or 50 cents sometimes on big sales. So these were like $1.49, I think. So I just picked up a box of those. This I didn't need, but um, Gavin likes to make breakfast in the morning and this is the kids. And sometimes it's just easier if they have something pre-mixed out, like that tells you the instructions on it, because <laughs> I will make my own packs. Or Ryan likes to just grab something um, and throw it in his lunchbox. So that's really the only reason I bought these, because these were on a big special this week for like $1.25. Just got one box of those. This is something I always buy. This wasn't like a clearance deal or anything. This is something I always buy. So if I can find this stuff on sale when it's not $4, then I'll get it. So it's $2.99. I usually buy the generic stuff at Aldi's because I eat Greek yogurt every week. And this is my absolute favorite kind right here. It's like a dessert to me. I picked up two of those because they were on special for $2.99. Ice cream was one of their weekly specials also for like their digital coupons. So didn't need it, but it was $1.99. So it was cheaper than buying the tubs. So I just got those for this week. This was another deal I just happened upon. Um, I was looking for peanut butter actually. And this was the giant boxes were on sale again for $2.49. And I think I had an additional coupon on that. So just got those to have. Um, I was actually going in the store looking for clearance produce, but I think where a lot of it was recalled um, my sweet friend Alma, thank you sweet Alma for emailing me and letting me know about the recalls on stuff. I think they had to pull a lot of stuff because they didn't have hardly any clearance veggies today and they were actually low in stock on stuff. So I only got one because Ryan loves this stuff but um, he, he loves this without the noodles. I like the noodles but I won't pay $5 for a bag of this. So I got one bag for 99 cents. This looked fun and the tag, the tags get me. Cause you can freeze it like i said i've got tons of stuff in my freezer that will last us through the winter um these are 99 cents so i thought why not try them when they're cheap and they're healthy so normally this stuff is so pricey 
um, but it's kale artichoke dip so I thought why not this is something I got excited about because some I, you got to pick through the meat I went early morning so luckily they had fresh meat and normally they're ten dollars for one of these and when you price them out for a box you just got to do your math honestly and see if it's worth buying so this was $6.59 for 10 of these so I got two packs of those so that's perfect um, got tons of those to have on hand and I will freeze them and I got some stir fry vegetables just because I didn't have much in the other aisle and these were like about 30 something um, these were special these are things I buy all the time I actually should have bought more of these because what we do with them is freeze them and these were $2.49 so you get the big box and the gimmicky stuff the glow but the kids love these they eat them like popsicles so they were only $2.49 so I got two boxes of those um, I really only bought this it was cheaper to buy the regular pasta it was like $1.25 on special for the San Luigi brand or whatever it is but this was whole grain so I thought I'd just pick up a couple boxes just to keep on in our pantry for a, I think it was like $1.33 this was some meat specials they had going on can you believe it guys I'm buying beef again um, so I got these for my freezer I'm going to put them in freezer bags and put them in my freezer because they were $2.99 each um, so I got all of those this was something I didn't need but it was on clearance oat milk was four dollars today so I just picked this up because the kids like to make smoothies and that was two dollars cake mix this is really just for seasonal stuff I can make my own cake mix but this is nice to have on hand for birthdays because um, we make our own cakes or I make my own cakes and um, to have for the holiday baking so if you can find this stuff when it's on sale I know it's not like it used to be you used to be able to get for 50 cents a box like on their Kroger specials or you know even Walmart sometimes but now 99 cents is as good as it's gonna get I think so I got a box of fudge brownies two of the yellows I think and two of the chocolates just to keep in our pantry um, over here clearance meat it was like I said good selections today didn't need this but Ryan likes amp up his burger sometimes so I really just got these for him to take for like lunches for work because um, he works midnights or dinners I guess you could say so I got these for him there's four of those and those things are normally like seven dollars for a pack of this stuff um, then I got these I was very excited about these because I like the lean meat and these were red so they weren't the brown old yucky meat that they're trying to get out of there so this is $3.79 these packs right now, I can't remember. Um, I'm going to freeze these. These packs right now are like $7 for this to get Laura's lean beef because her stuff's outrageous. So I got one, two, three, four of those. And then they had only one pack of the ground beef. So I got those because um, they're getting to expire tomorrow, like for sale by date. So I'm going to freeze them because if you can find me on a really good special, freeze it, guys. Add it to your pain, your stockpile. Um, then this was on special this week. I thought it was $2.99 like the ground chuck, but I'm wrong. It was $3.99. Still a great deal. So I got the mild Italian because I can use that in like making meat sauce uh, for spaghetti or something. Because Ryan likes meat. I like marinara. So I have to have some type of meat. So I just got these to put in the freezer. Got these. I thought they were $2.99, but they were $3.99 on special because they were like six before that. So I've got two packs of those. It's just one was already frozen. So I've got those for him. These were a clearance buy. I love Dr. Prager's stuff, but I don't. There's lots of things I love, but I don't buy because I just won't pay full price for things. These were on their clearance, and I love veggie burgers if they have flavor. These were cauliflower veggie burgers, and if I can get Ryan, like with cholesterol wise, to eat something that's actually like healthy like this, besides beef all the time, then I will buy something like this and cook it. So I got four boxes of these because they were normally like, goodness gracious, five dollars or six dollars for one of these. So I picked up four of these because you know even if we don't like them, I'll eat them. Then I, you know, bought all this meat. I had to offset it with some ground turkey. You know that. There was no good deals on ground turkey today. They were like $5 a pack, which I'm not paying. So I got these. These were $7 for a box of those. Over here, these were a really good deal this week. Priced out maybe 60 some cents. Um, so this is just to add to my pantry, like stocking up my pantry to have for future use. Um, I priced out the Rotel, it wasn't a good deal. And honestly, I was out of room with all this meat to buy the diced tomatoes, so I'll do that later, because I usually buy that at Aldi. But these were like, uh, were these 210 a container? So I got some 
a thing of corn, two things of the green, or three things of green beans, one of the regular, two of the French style, one corn. And this was the most random thing I absolutely did not need, but how perfect. This was in clearance. I was looking for stir fry vegetables and just browsing. I like to go in early morning and browse for stuff I don't need, but I can actually, like stuff I would normally buy, I will put in my freezer if I can use it for later use. And it just makes life cheaper and easier. So these were 210 for these giant family size green beans. There's only two of them, or I would have bought them all. Um, so I got these because this would be perfect, either for uh, like needing something quick for a family dinner or for the holidays coming up because you know it's going to happen. This would be a, such a time saver. So I've got two of those. I'm going to keep looking for those things because all the other ones were like six dollars. No, I'm sorry, they were seven dollars for those. So I got two. I got two of those for two ten. So all of this stuff. I mean, look at all that meat, guys. I know I'm not the meat person, but I bought tons of meat lately for my freezer for the winter. All of this was, I think, after tax, $145. Unbelievable. You can stretch your money out if you plan it wisely. I'm not saying buy all of this, but we have a family of six, and this will maximize um, our meals for the winter. It will save me money in the long run. So there is that guy. Okay, so this was stuff I could add to the stockpile. They had these on clearance today for a dollar. I'm not big on getting a ton of these and having them. Just wanted to have one because these do expire in 2023. So I just got one of these because they were in the clearance aisle for a dollar. That way, you know, if you ever didn't have access to milk in the fridge, then this would be shelf stable for a while. So I got that. Um, I got this. This isn't my normal thing. I'll probably toss this dressing because dill pickle dressing sounds disgusting. But um, this was only 99 cents. Like I said, they've been short lately with stuff. I think where they did a recall, they haven't had much. So all this stuff was kind of out together for 99 cents. So I got one of these. Um, I was excited because this is what I was looking for. One of these big bags. They didn't have them lately. So this is $1.50. And you can always toss these in the freezer and use them later. This I really like. I prefer this. I mean, I know the other stuff frozen, but I prefer this fresh kind. Um, and... I don't want to pay four dollars for it and these bags are normally like 5.99 in kroger so these are 99 cents pick this up for another fun thing i can make something with for 99 cents because i'd already picked these up i went back in um just to keep on hand because they're 2.49 i saw them at sam's club and they were whoo they were really expensive even for being in a value pack so i thought that was a great deal for 2.49 and then the meat is still on special there, so it's $2.99 right now, and it is like slim pickings. People have been buying it like crazy, I guess. So I just got five of those just for the freezer because I like to stock up when it's cheap. This is the stuff that was non-essential, that was um, not important, but I got these because this is Ryan's favorite sugar-free stuff. So this is two dollars. We like the Russell Stover brand, and then this is not the five-dollar day, but I went ahead and picked it up just because I was already in there. Um, and it's so, so, so good there. But that little haul was $35 for all that. Okay guys, this cute little e-cozy dishwasher is portable. Look how convenient this is. It's got this little basket. It's got an LED light that comes on in it. That is so convenient. Um, it's got this. It's got a top rack. It has um, a water inlet hose and it has a, so it's got a drain hose that you can attach to the back of it. It's also got, so this cute little e-cozy dishwasher. Look how cute this is. You guys, look how cute this e-cozy dishwasher is. It's portable, it's adorable, it's functional. You can take this camping, you can take this in small apartments. You can take this pretty much anywhere, like portably. And I'm so excited to try this out. It's got this upper rack. It's got this basket. It's got a cutlery basket. So I've taken all of those out. And then you've also got your drain hose installation, which is this one. It's got the curved one. So we will hook this up in the back. 
that way it will drain into the sink because you have to have somewhere to drain it if you don't have a sink nearby or something like that you can drain it into a bucket and then um, this is optional I'm not going to use this but this is the water inlet up this is an optional inlet um, you can hook this to your faucet and get the water and fill it up that way but I was thinking if it's not convenient enough then what you would want to do is do it the, the super portable way which is filling it up with your water pitcher which they include with your purchase of this little dishwasher so this is cute super cute we're gonna go ahead and hook the um, water the drain hose so we're gonna attach the drain hose to the back of this and we're gonna let this water drain into the sink um, while it's washing the dishes that way it's just easier it makes life easier and it comes with this like to tighten it and to screw it down so let's go ahead and do that this is simple enough for me to figure out so i'm sure you guys can do it okay so here are the two on the bottom so i'm assuming that one's for your hooking this up if you were going to use it to hook it up to your faucet you could hook it up right there i'm not doing that so i'm just gonna do this and it's also got these little suction cups that way it sticks to your sink if you're wanting to hold it on and i'm probably not doing this oh there we go so all you're gonna do is put that there it doesn't come with a screwdriver, but obviously most people have a screwdriver at home. So you're just going to take this um, like clamp thing and screw it. This hose clamp, I guess that's what you would call it. You're going to just move this up there and I guess we're going to get a screwdriver out real quick and we're going to tighten that on there. Look at me learning something like this. This isn't my normal type of thing. Okay, so we're going to use this one. It actually does work going to tighten that on the hose clamp and that way this will stay in place when we're running the water through hopefully okay so now I've hooked the hose up so we're just going to put that we're going to suction cup it over to the sink and let it sit there that way when the water drains out of it it can go into our kitchen sink hopefully and stay in place now we are going to fill the dishwasher up with our dirty dishes so it also says to leave the side with the dirty on the tableware facing towards the lower spray arm and not to wash the items that are not marked dishwasher safe or the equivalent and also like always with any dishwasher you should remove like large scraps from tableware before you put them in the dishwasher because obviously it doesn't always break down You have two options you can hook it up like i said to the water uh inlet hose or you can use your pitcher which i'm going to use it goes up to 1.8 liters on here you need five gallons of water to fill your dishwasher which is equal to 1.3 gallons or five liters so we're going to fill this up and fill it with water that way we can show like how easy it is to use and then we're going to actually we're going to go ahead and power it on there's a power button at the top it says to go ahead and power that on and it's got all the different modes on it quick eco heavy rinse fruit and you guys i told you wrong initially when i was talking about this having a basket dishwasher basket you could actually wash your fruit in this obviously not with like the dishwasher packet but you can wash your fruit like this is also a fruit washing station so that's really cool um if you want to get your fruit really 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 clean but anyway let's go ahead and fill this with water Okay, my friends that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it gave you some ideas of things that you can stock up on and add to your um, stockpile your pantry your shelves you know whatever you want um but i appreciate you guys i'll link down the um countertop dishwasher below and i hope you have an awesome sunday i'll see you guys probably maybe tomorrow love you all bye